Hi, welcome back to the breadboard. Looks like Microsoft has been busy. They just uh, today, or it seems like it was today, I think I was uh, working late last night, uh, about 2 a.m. this morning actually, and I noticed that there was some new insider previews available. I initially was prompted to go have a look because one of my Raspberry Pis that was running Windows 10 IoT uh, version 14262 suddenly decided to upgrade all on its lonesome to 14279. So I thought, hmm. So I went and had a look, try and see what there was any release notes for that, and I couldn't find any. But what I also discovered was that the Insider Preview had released uh, another version as well, which was version 14295. So I downloaded that and put it onto a couple of uh, micro SD cards and popped it into my Windows um, Pis, which was a Raspberry Pi 2 and a Raspberry Pi 3. Both of them have LCDs on them. One is the official 7-inch Raspberry Pi LCD, and the other one is the, um, an Industrial Shields actually uh, display, which actually happens to be based on a Raspberry Pi 2. So I've put a Raspberry Pi 3 in there as an upgrade. What I discovered with this is that there's a couple of significant features that have been enabled. And note, before you ask, it's not the Wi-Fi and it's not the Bluetooth. Sorry, but it's not there yet. Um, it's actually full remote desktop takeover. So if you've got your uh, apps running, even if you don't have a screen locally plugged onto your Raspberry Pi IoT app, you can still remote take over it with a tablet or something like that. It needs to be something running Windows 10. And you can then start browsing around with the screen, which is excellent. It has the remote keyboard, the remote mouse, just like RDPing to another Windows or Linux machine. And the other feature that they seem to have finally got working is the um, Windows Update service. Now when you click the button, it actually tells you that it's going out there to check and everything else. And I did notice, which is what prompted me to look at all of this last night, is that one of my other machines, um, it automatically started upgrading to the later versions of the Raspberry Pi Windows 10 IoT, which is what I just mentioned before which is what prompted this whole discussion. Anyway, um, without further ado, let's just go have a look at what this is. So I've set them up and I'll uh, demonstrate remote taking over one of the Raspberry Pis and show you what it all looks like. So I'll leave this camera uh, pointing at the Raspberry Pi screen and then I'll insert it in the video as I capture from the PC uh, for the same session. So let's go have a look. Okay, so let us begin. Um, first thing, go to the App Store and put in a search for Windows 10 IoT Remote Client. Should show up pretty quickly. There should only be one of them. And I've already installed it, but just click to install. And it uh, should just take a few seconds because it's not very big at all. And once it's downloaded, you can open it. So you open it up. And um, I've already got the two Windows 10 IoT devices set up here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to nip into them and show you the settings. So if I just open um, the web browser for one of them and just log in, I'm just going to shrink it down so it fits in the screen here. So you can see there's a few extra things. There's IoT onboarding, which is to do with the uh, soft AP. And even if you've just got a Wi-Fi adapter that it supports, you can remotely uh, connect to it. It supports basically uh, like a smart, a lot of devices these days, you can connect to them. They set up initially with their own access point. You connect to it, tell it what the settings are, and then it will actually participate in your local network without actually having to have a physical hardwired connection. Uh, that's what that's for. The uh, I, th I think these are trusted protection modules, which I don't think are built into the Raspberry Pi, so it certainly can't access any of them. Uh, anyway, at the bottom here, you see this new menu item called Remote, and all you do is you just turn this on um, to enable Windows IoT Remote Server, and that actually sets up a nice little process running on the Windows 10 IoT on your Raspberry Pi so that you can RDP to it. And there's a bit more information here if you want. Um, just turning this on. Uh, successfully, yep. So that's all you have to do to turn it on now. Um, pretty much everything else is the same as what you've had before. Um, it's properly recognizing this as a Raspberry Pi 3 in this case. This is my industrial shield. So it's got, as you can see there, uh, it's a it's much bigger display. This is a 10 inch display on this one. As you can see, the Raspberry Pi right now is running in a screensaver mode. Oh, that's the other thing they added to it as well. Uh, is the fact that you've actually now got a screensaver on the Raspberry Pi, which is kind of cool. 
Um, the apps, you can start and stop them, so they've modified this menu a little bit, and we'll, you know, we, that's nothing much to talk about, but you can restart, start, stop directly from here, instead of just having that one that shows you what's running and, and, and things. That's a little bit of an improvement. I think this is pretty much the same, um, pretty much the same, debugging, same. Yeah, these are the menus all pretty much look the same. Uh, Bluetooth, audio, networking. As you can see here with the Wi-Fi adapters, it doesn't see the built-in Wi-Fi adapter yet. And the Bluetooth as well is the same thing. It doesn't see um, the adapter yet, so it won't pick up on it. Uh, audio, networking, Windows Update. So now when you click on Windows Update, it actually goes away and checks for updates, which is really cool. Uh, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So let me just minimize that again, and we'll go back to here. This is the Windows 10 IoT Remote Client. Um, if, when it dis you can either put in the IP address if it's not discovered automatically, but if it is discovered, then you can see here we've got two, my two Raspberry Pis are being discovered. So let's just pick this one and we'll go hit connect. And that's going to go over to the Raspberry Pi and now it's connected. And you can see here that the screensaver, because I connected it, interrupted the screensaver. And on my PC right here, you can see that I have got, let me just move this across so that I can make room for the insert of the other one that's going to be down here somewhere. You can see that I've got the whole Raspberry Pi here and I can actually do interactions here and you can see them happening on the Raspberry Pi as well at the same time, which is really cool. So you can see I can't turn on the Bluetooth, so it's because it's not detecting the module there yet. Go back to device settings, click on tutorials, and you can see they're both perfectly uh, in sync and I'm using the remote mouse and keyboard. So if I go back to here, um, it's just all working nicely. So uh, I don't have an app ready yet to just show you with that remote takeover, but um, I will be doing some very, very shortly. And so you, I will be now using it because I'll be able to actually screen grab using the remote client instead of having to have a slightly fuzzier picture of capturing it directly from the camera like this. I can now remote take over it and let you see from that. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to give you a quick update on that, keep it short and brief. So you can go to Windows 10 Insider Preview to download um, this latest build. It's um, 10.0.14295. Um, dot 1000 and like I said it gives you the remote takeover capability the remote IOT client um, which you can download from the App Store all free and it gives you the um, updated updates so an actual working Windows update so now I'd imagine that Microsoft once they get the uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi working it's just going to come down and show up as a Windows update so that'll be nice if they do that and get it up and running quickly. Uh, everything else, like I say, looks pretty much the same. So I won't go and uh, keep you by any longer. Let's just call that quits. Nice, short, and uh, give you a good update. So uh, go check it out. I think you'll like this nice little enhanced bit of feature for it, especially if you're into the Windows 10 development. Nice extra tool in your arsenal. And like I say, if you're using it for um, a remote display like this one that's got the uh, Raspberry Pi built into the back here, um, then you don't have to have it near you now to be able to see what's happening on the screen. You can just remote take it over and have a look at what's happening, which is cool. So um, anyway, I will be doing a lot more industrial. Uh, if you've been keeping up with some of my videos, you've seen I've already started a uh, industrial and home automation um, series. And these devices, this, this, this industrial shields, as well as, um, you know, the this is the regular Raspberry Pi one here. Um, you can also remote take over to that. It doesn't make any difference which one. And um, it should be pretty cool. So look, I look forward to um, playing with that and showing you the automation things using these devices. And now I've got this extra tool in my arsenal to make it even cooler. So uh, we'll see you later.